Okay, guys, we're moving on to chapter 7, interactions, uh, chapter 7, interactions, and 7.1 is effects of interactions, or the effects of interactions. Okay, let's jump right into it. I've just um, cut out some excerpts from the textbook that I, that I think will get us going. Um, in the past chapters, we saw how interactions can change the kinetic energy of objects as well as their internal energy, right? We had, say, object 1, object 2, right? They interact with each other and the kinetic energy of this object would change. Either it would, the velocity would reduce if it continues to move in the same direction or the velocity would change. Nevertheless, the point is the kinetic energy changed because of an interaction uh, with another object and if it was some kind of inelastic collision it would also change the internal energy okay nothing new there just a quick recap um, in this chapter 7 we study how interactions convert energy from one form to another Another one is uh, interactions are, what are they? This is the, the definition of an interaction. They are mutual influences between two objects that produce change. Okay, so two objects mutually in influence each other, two objects they mutually influence each other, with that, and it produces change in the motion. So, sorry, it produces change in one of two things, physical change, or change in motion. And remember, physical change has got to do with the state. Okay, the state of the object, which had to do, if you recall, with the shape, the temperature, those kinds of things, right? It changed the state. Or the interaction can change the motion, meaning it changes the, the kinetic energy. Okay, what's next? And just quickly, an interaction um, uh, that causes objects to accelerate can either be repulsive or attractive. Okay, so objects can either so if you've got a a spring and you apply a force like that, then the spring the spring is actually going to repulse the two objects. Or if, and if you apply a a force apart like that, then the spring is going to want to pull these two objects toward each other. So you get repulsive and attractive forces. Okay, I think that's good for this video. Um, I'm going to carry on with 7.1 in the next one or two videos. In the next one we're going to actually look at the actual interactions and how it affects uh, velocity, momentum, acceleration and kinetic energy. Okay, see you in the next one.